Yeah, we knew we had to score pretty much every possession. Um, that was kind of our game plan, and we really didn't do that. So we had to fix the two possessions or however many it was that we didn't score. But, you know, to, for us to keep playing as a unit and for everyone to do their job for 60 minutes straight and with that many plays was pretty impressive. Tony Sakalas, over to you. Yeah, I think it's just we do a good job, our coaching staff preparing us for, you know, those opening plays and then obviously us executing. The offensive line gave me plenty of time. I don't even think I got hit tonight. Um, the receivers made their plays and obviously our two running backs, Najee and B-Rob, did a great job, you know, getting good carries that helped set up play action and the things that we wanted to do. Steve Moulton, you're up. Yes, Matt, I was hoping you could speak more to uh, Najee's night and really what you saw from the offensive line. Yeah, I thought that we challenged him this week. You know, we wanted to improve on some things, and we did a good job. You know, up front, I was really uh, happy with the offensive line's play overall, but um, obviously Najee, you know, carrying the ball the way he did and B-Rob carrying the ball the way that he did, um, you're going to have a, a great game, you know, and come out with a W. Aaron Suttles, you're up. Yeah, we, we pretty much knew we had to get another first down, um, and we ended up scoring, which is good. Um, I told the guys that it's not over, and it, it's never over until the, the final uh, whistle blows. So, you know, just, just doing what you're supposed to do. We have any other questions for Mac? Over to Steve Moulton again. Yeah, I mean, we're just happy that we won. We're kind of just looking forward to next week. Yeah, it was fun, but, you know, we can do better. We have to do better as a team, and that goes back to our leadership and uh, practice and making everyone better, special teams, defense, offense. So, yeah, I mean, it feels good, but, you know, we won. That's good. Christopher Walsh, go ahead. Uh, not really. I mean, we were just, I told everyone to do their job, and I think they responded really well. And I think the one little sack I took on third down was my fault. And then other than that, I mean, we played pretty good. But, I mean, just communication is key and, you know, keeping those guys locked in and on doing their job. James Ogletree. Yeah, I mean, we just trust our training. That was kind of a big point. You know, they're going to give us looks that we haven't seen, and we knew we had to pretty much be perfect. And, um, you know, it goes back to practice and earning the trust of my teammates. Like, it's not about me. This will be the final one for Mac before we go on to the next player. Go ahead, Michael Casagrande. Yeah, Mac, what's Faith like on the sideline? I mean, he's just doing his job and coaching, and um, yeah, he's going to get mad at some things, but he always bounces back. You know, if there's a bad play, he always encourages us positively to you know just do our job, and he can he can light that fire underneath you if you need it. But that's his job to coach, and obviously, he's a great coach. All right, thank you, Mac. Thanks. I just feel like it's more more so communication. Um, our defense is really good, and we have a lot of great players on our side of the D. Uh, just like we just have to communicate from one one side of the field to the other. Tony Sakalas, go ahead. Guys, Dylan, as the leader of this defense, what is it like for you to kind of see your team, you know, give up this amount of points, and, and how do you respond to that? What do you what do you tell the the rest of your team? 
honestly, we just have to get better. You know, um, Lane Kiffin is a great coach. He has a great scheme. You know, he's not like, he's not a pushover coach. You know, with a pushover team. This is an ACC team, Ole Miss. You know, so I have a lot of respect for them. But as far as our side, you know, we have to get better. Um, continue, you know, building up our communication. And it's like I said, every we have all the pieces and everything it shows. You know, what I'm saying we just have to, you know, communicate better. Michael Costa Grande, over to you. I just think we have to finish, uh, run our feet through the ball. Um, I know a lot of guys, you know, weren't used to, uh, you know, going fast tempo. You know, we have a lot of young guys on our defense, and for them to experience this uh, at the beginning of the season, I feel like this was a great opportunity to learn from it and uh, just get better. Aaron Suttles, you're up. How, how much confusion was there out there tonight? How much did they do that you guys hadn't prepared for? Um. We had, we really had to you know change a lot throughout the, uh, throughout the game and you know we adjusted. Uh, like I said, Lane Kiffin's um, strategy you know was pre was pretty good. You know he has like I said he's a great offensive mind. You know I respect him and Coach Saban respects him. You know so like I said it's just a lot that we have to uh, get better with just as far as like communication and uh, make sure we all on the same page. Brett Hudson, go ahead. Coach said that it seems like Ole Miss had an answer for everything that y'all threw at them today. They had the right. Uh, like I said, it was a lot of different things that, you know, we had to adjust to. And like I said, it didn't help that Coach uh, Kiffin was our coach for like three years and knows the ins and outs of our defense and what we run and what we do. So a lot of things we had to change up, you know, our, our uh, signals and all that because we're pretty sure we, they were watching that. But um, like I said, it's just we have to get better overall collectively. Steve Moulton, go ahead. Yes, uh, Dylan, uh, Coach said that he thought maybe Lane had the signal. Think that maybe that did take place tonight? I definitely think so. Like I said, they were like he was our coach for three years. You know, I, I mean, I wasn't here when they were there, but you know, if you're a coach somewhere for three years, I'm sure that you would pick up on the signals. Michael Costa Grande, back over to you. How does that? How can you tell in a moment that? How can you sense that they have uh, your signals or you know what you guys are going to do? Uh, just like what you guys said, you know, they just had an answer for everything and what we were lined up in. And uh, like I said, it's just we had to adjust throughout the game.